Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today we're going to start the next video chapter and it's going to be um, making these beautiful hanky dolls on this background, this fun background that is a, a sewing seamstress dress making theme. And I'm going to do this video in two parts. The first part is going to be how to create the hanky doll cards and the second part will be how to do that fun background. So stay tuned. Let's have some fun in our Paper Dolls Altered book. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is find an image that you want to use for your handkerchief doll. Um, I like this one. It's like a three-quarter image. It's on an old uh, falling apart butterick pattern. Um, so I'm going to use her. I really like her and she'd be just adorable. I like her arm. I'm going to keep that part in and I'll use it just from the waist up. So I'm going to use her as my image. You could find images on the internet, on Pinterest, if you don't have a sewing machine pattern or look for an old pattern that has a half or three quarter uh, images. And then I'm going to use this on my background. Do you remember um, the paper dolls where you used to get a book of paper dolls and they would look like this and they'd have that stand base and they would recommend that you cut them out or punch them out of the book and then you would glue them down to a lightweight cardboard and I think it always recommended that you use um, upcycle your cereal box and then you would trim around the doll like fussy cut around it after it dried on the cardboard and you would fold this stand back and she would stand up on a table so that's I just thought this was really cool because it was one of those old paper doll styles and I don't know what magazine this came out of a magazine I'm not sure which one um, could be a summer set I'm not sure but I thought she was fabulous for using on my background so I'm going to do use her for my background and I've got another fun idea and then this image to, for my handkerchief doll so find what you want to play around with find what you want to use on the background and then I will show you the simple process of making a handkerchief doll Okay, instead of just um, putting her down on a piece of cardboard and cutting out her silhouette, I decided to put her on an actual card. This was just a flash card, you know, the old flash cards that kids use in school that I got a, a pack of at a yard sale. And so what I've done is just cover it with um, a layer of book text and pieces from the inside of security envelopes, music sheets, and things like that. And uh, this even has a cute dress image that came from the pattern that she is off of. So I just went ahead and covered it with Mod Podge with the paper on both sides and then um, put a thin layer of paint. We've done this before already on our background so I didn't repeat it here. Um, and I'm going to do it real quickly with another small tag just to show you. But um, then I took a credit card and I dragged some paint to make a nice background and I'm going to probably add an edge and, and things like that but I wanted to do her outfit first before I decide how I want to continue with that background and I do want that dress to still show. So that's my flash card with my girl that's going to become my, my doll. And now I'm going to take, I'm going to use this image as well. It's the back side. It came from the same sewing pattern. And I'm going to take this tag that was from a Tommy Bahamas, probably a shirt or something, I think it's a shirt, um, that I got in some Happy Mail. And so what I'm going to do is just do like we normally do for backgrounds. I'm going to just take some torn pieces of paper and some Mod Podge and I'm going to cover this whole tag with little bits and pieces of paper until the whole tag, both sides, is covered. Okay, so the tag is dry and I'm going to go ahead and um, tear along this edge to the shape of that tag. I liked the shape of the tag. So I'm just kind of bending that paper a little bit. Paper is really fragile. That book text was kind of fragile, so I can just um, tear this out so that I get the shape of the tag, but it's leaving some rough edges. I like it. And 
if you just bend it in you can feel where that edge is to tear it and there you go so there is my tag shape and it's ready for paint so or background you can do your background any way you want and I'm going to go ahead and um, just do some paint nothing too terribly fancy I want this one to be primarily blue so I'm going to go over it with a light blue Just kind of light. I love that paper, the book text in the background as usual. So I'm going to do both sides. And I'm not being too concerned. And then, oh, and I love that. It's kind of stuck to the page. So I'm going to let that dry. And then I'll come back and I'm going to add some more color to it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just... We're adding just a little bit more depth to that because that light blue is just kind of too blah. So I'm just going to put a little bit more paint and a darker color of paint. And I'm going, oh geez, and I'm going to spill the paint. <laughs> and I'm going to take a credit card and just drag it across. Gorgeous. Super cool. Lots of texture, lots of color, let it dry. Okay, here is my tag. You can still see book text through it. I love the marble blue paints and my blue and white girl image is going to go right here. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead and stick her down with some Mod Podge. Same as always, just a nice thin layer, put her in place, and I'm going to lightly go over the top of this. She's small enough that um, I'm not concerned that she'll wrinkle, I don't think she will. So there is my second girl on another tag, blue on the back, and then I've got this one, and yellow on the back. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then we'll move on. The next step is we're going to cut a slit into our tag where we're going to uh, put our hanky. So what I'm going to do is along the waistline, let me zoom in a little bit here. Oops, that's out. There we go. Along the waistline, I'm going to leave her waistband on, so I'm going to go below it. I'm going to just push down nice and hard, and I'm going to put a slit in my tag see if you can see that put a slit across where her waistband is and make sure that it goes through the whole tag just like that and there's a couple of different ways of folding these to make the bottom skirt um, I've taken a vintage handkerchief let me zoom out here so you can see that I've got a beautiful vintage handkerchief, and yes, mother, I ironed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a inside joke between my mom and I that we've had for years. She'll get it. Anyway, um, I'm going to take this. I wanted to press it nice and smooth, no wrinkles from being folded. And I am going to fold this point to point and then put my points just a little bit off center like that. And then right in the middle, I'm going to take that and I'm going to fold this over like this. Okay, you can do this. There's a bunch of different ways. And if you look at some of the images on Pinterest of people who are making these for greeting cards, there are so many different ways of folding these. There's just a ton of different ways. So I'm folding it points in, points in, and then folding this in again and you end up with a nice point up at the top you kind of just have to hold on to it with your hand and in fact I think I'm going to fold it in half while I'm inserting it into the card so this is kind of the tricky part you want to put it in the card into that little slot you made without tearing your card which 
eh, it might happen, but just be as careful as you can. And you want to pull it, get it to start, and then pull it through the back side. Make sure that I have this flat. And look what you end up with. That is so pretty. It's gorgeous. It looks like a beaut like she's got a beautiful ball gown. And you can go a little, pull it in a little tighter if you want it to be shorter. But folding it like that makes them really nice. Makes a really nice um, look at the bottom. So that's the one that's facing facing away from us where you're seeing her back and then on this side because I don't want to damage that handkerchief I'm just going to put a piece of masking tape on this back side to hold that in and place. If this is something that you are going to possibly take this uh, out and reuse it or use it some other way in the future you may not want to use masking tape it could possibly um, yellow the material but if it's going to be a permanent fixture in your book, don't worry about it. So I'm going to go ahead and use masking tape. And it'll hold it down nice and flat on the back and keep it in place. So there is my hanky girl. I love it. That is so cute. And the fad right now with this is greeting cards. People are putting these on the front of greeting cards. And we're just adding it to our book, and I just, I think it's lovely. So let's do another one. I'll show you a different fold. So I'm going to do the same thing with this girl. We're going to go ahead and uh, take our X-Acto and cut across the waist. And I'm leaving her belt and her waistline. And you just got to be sure, like this card is really thick, so you just got to be sure that you cut all the way through. Oops, my knife blade came out. You just need to be sure that you cut all the way through. Okay, and this next one, I've got this beautiful vintage handkerchief. Look at this. Look at the edge on this. This is so beautiful somebody hand crocheted that gorgeous edge and it is so fine and delicate and beautiful i mean they had to have used a teeny 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 tiny crochet hook and it's just it's so pretty so anyway um okay so for this one i'm gonna fold it in half and then starting here let's see or starting here Okay, this one has a um, an emblem only in one corner, and I want that in the front. So I'm going to turn it upside down here. And this is kind of a trial and error, so I'm going to fold this, pleat this back and forth. So I'm folding it forwards, and then I'm folding it backwards. Okay, we're going to try it. If we don't like it, you can always take it out and try something else. And I'm going to same thing, stick the little tip in just so that it starts to come out the other edge and it gives you something to grab onto to pull. And then start to pull it in. And let's see how this comes out. It's supposed to come out pleated. Oops, and I put it in backwards. Okay, so I'm going to turn it around. And turn it around because I want that um, that gorgeous little decor on it that's in one corner. I want that to show on the front, so I want to make sure that it's on the front, and it is. Okay.
Mm, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted was it to look pleated and fold it out like this. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my my masking tape on the back. To hold that nice and flat and hold it in place. Oh, she's just, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So here are my two handkerchief dolls, handkerchief paper dolls. And now I can add them to my background. <laughs> 